Yep. Easy. Oh! Easy. It was really okay, easy. Okay, that was that was that was better than anticipated. <laughs> okay. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have Mike Mike with us. You guys have seen him before. We've done a ton of other tutorials, but today we're gonna be doing a muscle up tutorial. You guys know that I can only do a kipping muscle up, but Mike Mike is the king of freaking oh, muscle ups. Like thank literally you, thank you. <laughs> the best form there is out there. So of course we have to learn from him today. So you're gonna talk thank us you. through what we're about to do. Yeah, awesome. So today we're gonna be working on um, either making our muscle up a little bit more strict or just getting more pulling power to get you over that first muscle up. So mm -hmm. either way, you can use this tutorial to help you have better, cleaner muscle ups or just to get there. It's gonna be a lot of fun. This is perfect. This is exactly what I need. Woo, let's Hopefully go. Hopefully you guys <laughs> like this. <laughs> Hopefully you guys like this video. If you do, make sure to like, subscribe and comment and let's get into it. Awesome. <laughs> All right guys, so we're gonna go over rule number one. So obviously you can already do a muscle up, um, but today we're cleaning it up a little bit for sure. So rule number one is gonna be three high pull-ups every single time you touch the bar. And okay. these are gonna be as high as you possibly can. We're aiming for your waist level. It might, yeah, <laughs> it, right? <laughs> um, it might start here, but the most important thing is with doing it every time you touch the bar, you're gonna be tracking week over week. So okay. let's say week one, it's here. Week two, it's here three here, and then like 20, 30 weeks down the road, it's great to hear. So we always wanna make sure that we're making that pull up a little bit lower. Okay. okay. So we're gonna start. With just three? Yep, just three, okay. as high as you possibly can. Most effort you can. One, nice. Two, easy, and three. Easy work, good, good, good. I find, so ooh, yeah. I'm gonna also ask you questions throughout this as well, for no my problem. own knowledge. Yeah. As I'm pulling, when I get to like here, I feel yeah. like it's really hard, like how do I get to that like like mm -hmm. even if it's like a little bit lower like bottom of my sternum yeah so i would say what we're going to do is just set up a band and we're going to give a little bit of a step into it even for the high pull up okay so when we start completely vertical it just tracks us vertical so yeah. we want to step out into like the parabola shape and then that Watch will out. help us make it a little bit higher a little bit easier yeah and then we can hit the hollow position and pull at the same time super important okay. i'll show you one That's yeah cool. sweet that'd be great cool so from here um, instead of just pulling from the box, I step forward, pre-turn the hands if we can. So you kind of like uh, point the knuckles forward, take a step forward, and then pull. Damn! And <laughs> that was all the way to the waist! <laughs> and then as I'm pulling, I'm thinking, point the toes, rib cage down, squeeze the core. Yeah, like super hollow body position. Super hollow, yeah. Okay. And your elbows will actually be slightly in front of you. All right, I've never done this kind of swing into all it, so good, if it's good. ugly, we're about to find out. No problem, let's see what it looks like. Let's step forward and in. Mm. There you go, that was it. So then that's, if yeah. I want to do them in a row, would yeah. the natural swing come back down or do I reset? It could, but when you first start for the first little bit, I would reset every time. Okay, so we're gonna reset. Yep, here we go. And boom, there you go, easy work. Yeah. I'm gonna put a target there. So now aim for this band, and this will come back later. But as okay. soon as your feet cover that, so you want to see the band disappear, then you start looking towards the bar. So oh, with my eyes. Yeah. So ah. feet cover there, and then as soon as they cover, boom, pull and look. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's a good tip because I don't think I'm looking. All good. Okay, so here. Yeah, and a, boom. That's it. There oh, you the go. looking helps. Right? Where your head goes, your body will go. Interesting. Okay, cool. Sweet. That's step number one. Step number one. <laughs> All right, so rule number two or tip number two is going to be after you do your high pull-ups, you're going to want to do your hardest body weight rep next. Okay. So for you, because you can kind of do a kipping muscle up right now, mm -hmm. that's what we're going to do. We're only going to do three of them, so we're not going to tire you out completely, but we want to see what it looks like. And then again, with the whole week over week progression, you want to film that every single week, right? So Ooh, let's okay. say you have one muscle up day a week, you film it, make sure it's getting higher, faster, better, and then that can dictate how your training is going to go for the rest of the cycle. Okay, sweet. All right. So here we go. I haven't done one of yep. these in a while. So Ooh boy, let's see. Boink. Boom, easy, there you go. That's awesome. And then do you want me to connect them or just, again, reset? If you can do two more, that'd be perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Connected? Yep, connected. Here we go. Awesome. Boom, easy work. And one more. Yeah, that's amazing. Good, good, good. Okay, cool. Ooh. Sweet. Perfect. Okay, we still got it. Yep. <laughs> 
All right, so now we're gonna challenge it just a little bit and we're gonna see instead of doing the L kip with straight legs, I wanna see if you can pull super high and then think about kipping second. So pull as high as you possibly can. With the looking, your feet cover the band mm -hmm. and then your eyeballs are cresting the bar. As soon as the eyeballs get to the bar, you're gonna drive your knees as hard and fast as you can to your chest. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a bit of a challenge. We're we don't, we don't expect that I'm gonna make up, right? We'll see. We'll yep. see what happens. Yeah, and then we'll 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 switch it up. Okay. And do so some the same thing we just back. did, but yep. now with okay. Yep, you got it. And knees. That's it. Okay, cool. So it was a little <laughs> bit early with that one. A little bit. So with the knees, I was too early. Yeah. So yeah. wait a little longer. Wait a little bit longer. Okay, exactly. I'll try one more. Yep. Remember, eyeballs hit the bar and then kip last. And then we're gonna yeah. do that. Yep. Boom, that's it, okay. So okay, better? Yeah, yeah, see how that got you way higher up there? Yeah, a little bit higher. Okay, so now I'm gonna do like a partner spot. I'm just gonna flick your scapula at the top, okay? To help you get over. Okay. All right, cool? I'm scared. Oh no, oh, you'll be okay, you'll be okay. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. All right, so same exact thing you just did. You're just gonna feel my hands here a little bit, okay? okay. And let's get it. Oh, That's Jesus. it, there you go, <laughs> perfect, good. We love when Mike Mike spots. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you feel like you're flying, right? Yeah, I'm like, whoa, I got it. <laughs> Don't worry, that'll all come naturally soon. One day, Very one good. day. All right. <laughs> cool. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is work on uh, pure pull capacity or pure pull power, okay? So you have a couple of different ways of doing this. Today, we're going to be doing like a one to five rep range with a 25 pound plate. So that's just going to work on how high, how fast, and how much you can pull. Whatever you do with um, weighted work, it's gonna make body weight that much easier. So in let's say, let's say you're doing hypertrophy rep ranges like eight to 12 or eight to 15 reps for a pull up, we then wanna find what you're capable of doing weighted so that you can increase what you're doing hypertrophy for your pull ups or even just make the pulling motion feel faster. So we're gonna hook the belt up on and see if you can pull a 25 pound plate. Easy work. <laughs> Easy work, I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe a little bit harder than easier. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit of struggle. Yeah, so that just flips around there. Ooh, new. No. Yeah, it's like a big carabiner. Yep. It there will not go. fall off though. That's the important thing. <laughs> it's stuck. Okay. We're gonna put this in here. I'm on the other side of the belt. All right, so that's gonna dangle here. Nice straight legs, because we still wanna think about the hollow position. Ooh. Give me your best pull possible, chin over bar. Yep. Easy. Oh. easy. See, it was really easy. Okay, that was that was, <laughs> that was better than anticipated. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do two more. <laughs> Here we okay. go. Yeah, if you can connect them, cool, but they can be one at a time as well. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Good, good. That's okay, awesome. Rest. Yep, shake it out for a second. Perfect. Good. Okay. And for anybody watching, an appropriate rest time, we're looking for two minutes plus. So after we do the three, after right? After you do your three. Yeah. I was like, after every one? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Perfect, that's awesome, very good, cool. Woo. So same thing, if you are filming your reps, you're gonna track this week over week and make sure chin's getting a little bit closer. And maybe if we do this week over week in week three or four, you're gonna be doing like four or five reps per second. Yeah, Come. getting a little bit more. Yeah. And also getting a little bit higher, especially on my third rep too. Yeah. I do definitely feel the fatigue. Exactly, so when you are when you are programming for muscle ups and stuff, you always wanna make sure you have weighted pulls. It's so fun to train just muscle ups but there's a lot of value in keeping that weighted work in there. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome, all right. Okay, so now we're going on to uh, tip number four, or rule number four, and that is gonna be full range of motion training. So we've already gone over the high pull up, we've gone over training your body weight reps first, we've gone over training your weighted reps, right? Mm -hmm. And now it's really important that we train the full range of motion as strict as possible. So we're gonna utilize the band, and then we're also gonna utilize that partner spot that we did before too. So with the band, we're gonna set it up very specifically. One foot is gonna go in the band. Mm -hmm. You're gonna pinch your feet together and give me the strictest muscle up you possibly Like pinch can. this way? Uh, or, pin or, just like, or just like this? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, and for anybody watching at home, we go one feet, uh, well, one feet, one foot, <laughs> <laughs> geez, the sun's getting me. Uh, one foot in the band at a time, uh, just in case you have to bail. So if you're on a higher box or something and you know, the band slips away from you or whatever, you just wanna make sure you have safety first. That's smart. Okay. So we're gonna put this in here. I'm gonna help you get in. Awesome, great yeah. mobility. <laughs> <laughs> mobility helps. And it's gonna be a strict muscle up. Yeah, so as feet strict are, as I can. Exactly. I'm gonna help you with the swing just to just for your first one, and we're gonna try and connect five if we can. Okay, okay. ready? Yep. We're gonna do one. Oh. Oh. Easy. There and you go. That would help me a little more. Yeah. And two. Good. That's it. Yep. And three. Yep. And four. 
awesome. And one more for five. Easy, go, Jeez. All right. We love a band. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Makes everything look so much better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now, th imagine this is you after doing all the other steps we just filmed and showed everybody, right? Yeah. So what you could do in your muscle up programming is keep this as a separate day. So, oh, okay. so like for anybody watching, right? Um, you know, Taylor's an elite athlete, I would say, right? Beast mode. <laughs> <laughs> Thank um, you. No problem. Uh, but you can also have separate days. So let's say you work on high pull-ups one day and your weighted pull-ups, and then at the end of the week when the body recovers a little bit, then you do your banded or partner spots if you're working out with somebody. Okay. Yeah. So that'd be smart. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. So now we'll do the. We'll just move this off to the side there, and we'll do the partner spot again. Perfect. That's yep. enough. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. So this now, partner one is the one we did on the yeah, step uno. Exactly. So okay. you're going to do the, the knee kip now. Yeah. Right? And I know this is a video about the strict muscle up. So when you first start your strict muscle up, it's not going to look beautiful. Right? It's yeah. gonna, there's going to be a little bit of kipping involved. What the knee is doing is just teaching your body to go in a more vertical line. And okay. eventually that knee kip will be from here, like it might be here today, and then eventually be lower, lower, lower. So you just want a little twitch. Okay. And then we're also going to add one more element in after we do this. We'll chat about that in a second. Okay. All right. So how many are we going for here? Well, let's try three. Okay. Let's see how it is. Okay, ready? Yeah. And let's get it. There you go. That's one. Yep. Oh, I didn't bend my knees. Ooh, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> that's even better. Yeah. Okay. And one more. And good. Yeah, that's that. Perfect. That last one was 100% mic mic. <laughs> 0% little no, T. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't lift the whole human up like this. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, awesome. So that's the four tips. The last one we're gonna do, and this is kind of like a cheap hack here to kind of combine your um, knee kip and then also to make the legs a little bit straighter over time. That's gonna be a super high l sit pull to your chest. So I'll show you that one. Okay, yeah, that sounds hard. That is a little bit, yeah. <laughs> and after everything we did today, it's gonna be the last challenge. Okay. So from here, when I step down, we're gonna do it with the step we did before. And then as we hit that pocket at the bottom, you're driving your legs up to the chest to help you get high. Okay. So from here, I step. You make it look so <laughs> good. Yeah, but keep in mind, this is not dead hang, so we can use momentum, right? Yeah. So if today it looks like something here, like this, that's totally fine as well too. Well, that's not gonna be my goal. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. And keep in mind all those reps. So this so anything same here. thing here. Yep. Trajectory, shoot up as you're pulling. And as you kind of get to about 90 degree bend, drive those legs up super straight. Well, oh, it's a lot of coordination going on. Okay. Yeah, it is. Not it's my strong lot. super, we're gonna give it a okay. go. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see what it looks like. Just like that. Wow, that was is really that, high. Is that okay? Yeah, that was like to your chest. Awesome. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay, let's try two more. Two more? Yeah, everything in like ones to fives today. Easy work. No, oh, that's sick. Yeah? Good, good, yeah, yeah. I've never done these. These ones are good. I feel like this one definitely feels Motion wise, I think because I can bring that hip up, it feels yeah. more natural for me. Exactly, yeah. And you'll find like little elements that you can combine from everything we did today to kind of just help along the journey. So that's it. Yep. Boom. Easy. Yay. Amazing. That was my favorite one. Crush it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and with that, you feel like you're flying. So that's, yeah. a, that's a good one. Sweet. So, questions that yeah. I have. Yeah, so, if I were to, if you're like a very beginner. Yep. And you have like your strong pull-ups and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and you want to get your muscle up. What would you recommend for like a beginner getting into it versus someone who's more advanced? Like, so say you can do yeah more calisthenics, like you're more advanced in calisthenics yep. versus someone who's more advanced in just like typical strength training. Right. So if someone's um, more advanced in like their typical strength training, but not quite like that elite level athlete yet. Um, that's when I would separate those dates, right? Gotcha. So I would, and I would also probably do like a mesocycle of hypertrophy just to build a little bit more muscle and pull capacity before doing the strength training. Um, so if you've never gone into uh, really heavy weighted pull-ups for mm -hmm. hypertrophy, um, for what you're capable of doing, I would do like maybe a four to six week cycle, something, not something crazy long, not like an eight or 12 week cycle of that, mm -hmm. but just to kind of see if you can make pull-ups feel better. Gotcha. And having weight, like I have this rule that I use for beginners, um, and it's like we take a month, and yeah. every single pull-up they do is weighted. Okay. So, so they, they do not touch a bar, except for those first three. That rule yeah. never changes. But outside of that, every rep they do for the month is weighted. 
after that month is done of four weeks of that, mm -hmm. they are flying on the bars. Yeah. Because now, even if it was just a 10 pound weight, now they can pull real Way hard. More. Yeah. And then for the advanced people, everything we did today is like those four steps we did. Mm -hmm. Those can be done on, on the same day, but like maybe twice a week. Right. Okay, that's good to know. So for beginner, yeah. it's more you separate them. Yes. For someone who's a little bit more advanced, you can do them together, but you would do them multiple times a week. Absolutely. All right, yeah. sweet. So I'm going to implement that because mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. I've yeah. been saying I've been wanting a strict muscle up for the longest time, but I'm one of those people where it's like, you know, when you have so many yeah. things that you're wanting to do <laughs> yeah. and then you're like, oh shoot, I didn't fit it in this week. So definitely making that a focus. Awesome. Um, and then if you guys don't know, Mike Mike is also a trainer, has his own YouTube channel. Oh, so he's in you. the GTA. So if you guys want to hit him up, literally work out outside or wherever you work out of in Mississauga GTA area. Yeah, yeah, so I'm training students out of the lab right now and then Perfect. also we do some outdoor classes. So yeah, Tuesday, cool. Savage Tuesdays, right? Yes, and Sundays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, Savage Sundays, like when, when you get on the team and you get like your muscle up reps and stuff, then we do like an exclusive workout. So it's yeah. pretty awesome. That's pretty sick. <laughs> so that's the goal. Yeah. So yeah, if you're from the GTA area, awesome. make sure to follow Mike. Mike, hit him up. He's one of the best calisthenic athletes oh, in Toronto. Thank you so much. And I'm super honored to have him on my YouTube channel. And hopefully we will see you guys again next time. For those strict muscle ups. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs>